Hi everyone, I am Christina Mascari, and in today's video, I am going to be sharing the final reveal of my dining room makeover. If you've been following along, I've already made over my hutch and a table in here, and now I'm gonna be doing the finishing touches with some other DIY projects, as well as some home decor from Amazon. So if you wanna see all the details of my dining room makeover, just keep watching. Welcome to my first full room makeover. I'm gonna be making over this farmhouse dining room. I'm gonna be using, doing a lot of DIYs as well as doing a lot of designer dupes from Amazon. So I think this is going to be really fun for you guys. I just wanted to get rid of this farmhouse look and this is the mood board I came up with. This is my first mood board and it's very terrible. I need better software to do that, but that is the look that I'm going for, a more neutral, moody, and inviting dining room. Um, so if you haven't seen, I already made over the table and hutch in this space. This was one of the first things that I ever made over, so I just cleaned it and scuff sanded it and removed some of this decorative paneling, and then I gave it a fresh coat of paint with this really, really, really deep blue. It's a blue-black, um, and it just really changed the look of this and gave it a more sophisticated look. I saved a lot of money here. This was only $150 to make over this table. So I'm gonna be able to take that money that I saved and put it into other items in the room. Let's take a quick break to hear from today's sponsor. I am so excited to share today's sponsor with you, Factor Meals. I have fallen in love with this meal delivery service because it is individually packaged, fresh, never frozen meals that I can heat up at home and they are ready to eat in about two minutes. There is a reason that Factor is the number one ready to eat meal delivery service. They give you everything you need for a delicious, nutritious meal at home quickly. And they even have great add-ons like breakfast items, smoothies, and green juices. If you didn't know this about me, I'm a terrible planner when it comes to meals and I usually resort to doing takeout fast food which is just no good for you and I never have any vegetables in my meals. Factor is bringing those veggies to my meal because I can pick from their 30 plus dietitian designed options every week. Oh my gosh those are good. I'm eating vegetables during the day. I'm even sneaking in some vegetables with their breakfast add-ons as well as their green juice which is so yummy. Ooh, that's really good. You are going to love the convenience and the taste of Factor, so use my code PRETTYDISTRESS60 to get 60% off your first box today. Thank you so much to Factor for making today's video possible. And now let's move on to this hutch. If you guys did not see this farmhouse hutch makeover, I completely destructed this thing, modernized the lines, got rid of the dated top and just filled, sanded, primed this thing. And then I created a custom umber color and added a glazing medium so I could create some texture that ended up looking like wood grain. I was going for a linen finish, but it turned into this. So if you wanna see that, there's a whole video on this that I'll link down below for you guys as well. But I absolutely love the way this turned out. I rounded a space on the inside of these drawers for some new modern handles. And I just absolutely love the way this turned out. I think this is like in the lead for one of my favorite pieces right now. So once both of those big projects were done, I was ready to finish off this room. So the next step is gonna be painting. So I'm removing the rest of my farmhouse decor. It has served me well, but it is time to move on. And if you've been around here for a while, you probably recognize my anthropology dupe dresser here. This is one of my favorite projects, but I am finally getting rid of it. I'm going to be donating it to my son's school um, for a fundraiser they have coming up that will go towards their general fund and scholarships. I've spent enough time with it and it never went in this dining room anyway, so we are moving on. Now you may have seen this on Instagram, but to pick my paint color, I worked with Sample Eyes and I was able to pick out a bunch of samples from Sherwin-Williams and try them out on the wall. These things are really cool. They stick and unstick and I was really able to see what these were gonna look like in different lighting. Um, it was down between Urbane Bronze and Evergreen Fog and I really, really like them both, but I wanted to go bold. So I went with Urbane Bronze. And yes, I'm painting the room by myself because it saves a ton of money. I'm just prepping with this painter's tape and plastic all in one to protect my board and batten because I'm going to keep that white. Um, it has been a long time since I painted walls. And let me tell you, it is a lot harder than painting furniture. Those took me a whole week to do. I did have to do two coats because I was only doing a half wall. I only ended up using one can of paint. I did their cashmere in flat because I know this wall, these walls are not going to be touched a lot because of how high they are and because it's in the dining room. Um, so I'm not worried about like the cleanability of the paint. I love the flat finish with this dark color. And as it was going on, I was just getting so excited. Um, painting a room is a lot of work, but I did save a lot of money doing this on my own. I 
Okay, next I'm gonna replace this industrial farmhouse light and I found this Ballard one that I really love, but for $400, I found a dupe on Amazon that only cost $129.99. Great deal, love the finish on this. It was really easy to put together. I had to buy the light separately, but it does come with the little shade. So I think this is a great dupe for that Ballard one and there was a lot of cost savings. And this was me actually turning the breaker back on. So it's always a good thing when the light turns on. Okay, next up is chairs. And I have been eyeing this wishbone natural type of chair for a while now. As you can see, it varies in prices a lot, um, mostly ranging from $300 to $600 a chair. While on Amazon, I was able to get these for $179 a chair. That is still expensive, especially because I had to get eight chairs. So I spent $1,200 on chairs. Oh, it hurt my heart, you guys, but I... Baking over chairs is not fun. I have done it before. It takes a lot of effort. So I this is the one thing that I'm willing to splurge on with furniture. And these were packed really well. I was impressed with how well these were protected. Um, and the finish on them, it is not yellow. It is very natural, looks very good, looks very high end. So overall, very impressed with these chairs. I will let you guys know how these hold up. I don't think I'd use them in a kitchen because I think they'd get too many food spills, but in the dining room, I'm, I'm willing to risk it. Next up is my favorite olive tree. I did not buy this new, I've had this, um, but I did buy a new planter for it and I put some real dirt in it to make it look more like a tree. Um, if you can keep real trees good on you, I kill everything, I forget to water it. So this thing looks really realistic and I love it. I use it in my staging a lot and I think it looks great in the dining room. Okay, I'm actually reusing this decor item. I've had it for a while. I've had this dough bowl for a while. I got it at a local warehouse sale um, and I got these moss balls at various places and I still like them. So I'm gonna keep it and save a little money here, but I will try to source something similar for you guys on Amazon in the description box. Okay, my next DIY is my anthropology dupe mirror. If you did, guys didn't see this flip that I did back in, I think April or March, I had an old mirror and I turned it into the anthro mirror that costs about $600 just using some scrap wood, would you bend, um, black paint and gilding wax. I will link that video if you wanna see this whole thing in action and get all the details and the products that I used. But I absolutely love this thing and I thought this style was going to fit perfect in the dining room room so I'm adding it over the mantle. And my last DIY in this room is this black lamp that I also created in that same video with the mirror. And this is just a dupe of those Target and Pottery Barn lamps that you see. And I actually bought this lamp, I think for like $5 at Goodwill and added a bunch of wall plaster to it and some black paint and believe it or not, cornstarch and a new lampshade to give this a high-end look. And I'm bringing in another item I had. This ground gold mirror is from Target. So I'll link something similar on Amazon in the description box. Next up are some really affordable coffee table books. I love decorating with books, neutral, beautiful books like these. Um, and these ones actually have really good content inside. So I've already read both of them. Um, and this wooden knot is probably my favorite decor item that is available on Amazon. They have it in a bunch of different colors. And I ended up taking the jacket off of the Chanel book, which is awesome because you can style it black or white. Okay, the last affordable Amazon home decor items I wanna share with you is this really pretty ivory vase and then these oversized faux green stemmery stemmery? Is that a word? I don't think so. These faux green stems. I really love the way that the size of this balanced out the staging on this buffet. Okay, now let's move on to affordable art. I got this set of two canvases on Amazon for $80 and I really love them because they don't have glass on them. It is a textured canvas with some really simple geometric art on it. But the thing that I really love is this wireless 
Art Light. Um, they are $37, so a little expensive, but they are rechargeable and they even have a remote control so I can turn them off and on. And I think they run for about um, 12 hours or so. And then you can just pull them off the wall and recharge them with a USB charger. Um, it just really elevates the space, looks so elegant. And for $37, not having to hire an electrician and do wiring, I can pay $37 for these. Just to remind you, here is my farmhouse dining room. Still really pretty, but I was just ready for a new moody, sophisticated look. And here is my affordable DIY Amazon makeover. I really love how this turned out and I'm really proud of myself because I have never done a whole room like this and designed it on my own. And the thing that's cool about this is that this is the first room that people see when they walk into my house. They enter a long hallway and it leads right into this dining room before they can pass into the kitchen and the family room where we do most of our hanging out. So I love that this is the first thing that people are going to see. I think it really identifies where I am with my style right now. And I can't wait to incorporate the style into the rest of my house. I'd love to know your favorite part of this makeover, whether it's the furniture flips or the new paint or any of the Amazon decor home items. Let me know down in the comments. If you want to watch any of the other videos related to this dining room makeover, I'm going to leave them here for you. I'll be back soon with another project. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time.